Hello, I'm Storm, and my talk is based on 1 Timothy 4 verses 12. Don't let them think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, in faith and in purity. I want to talk about what we can do as young people to make a difference. As young people, we can often think we can't make a difference and that we should just leave it up to the adults. But that's not true. We can be examples to other believers in the way we live our lives and we can impact non-believers too. The thing about being young is it's a lot easier for us to reach other young people than it is for adults too. We can share our faith um, and if we live our lives a certain way it's clear to those around us that we are different and they'll want to know why. Okay so how can we do this? Well, like it says in 1 Timothy 4 verses 12, we should be examples to believers in what we say. This is important as we need to make sure we are careful not to gossip, speak unkind, negative words about others, even, especially, if they aren't around. Words have the power to damage someone forever. Something that you say when you don't think they're listening or that you don't think will be that harmful could have an impact on that person for the rest of their lives and ruin their self-esteem. We need to make sure we're building other people up, encouraging them and speaking positive words over them. We need to be careful not to use God's name in vain and not to swear. This verse also says we should be examples in how we live our lives. But by this, I think it means we should make sure how we live our lives every day glorifies God. That we live our lives with integrity. This means doing the right thing even when no one is looking. Living your life honestly and being true to God all the time. Not just when you're around other Christians um, and then pretending you're not a Christian when you're with others, but all the time. In Timothy it also says we should be examples in how we love. To me, this means we need to love like Jesus. Love everyone. Love our enemies, love the unpopular, love the hurting, love those societies cast aside, love the homeless. As young people, it can be really powerful when we love those that many adults struggle to or don't. If we set examples to them, then they have to follow. An example of how loving those that others haven't or struggled to and how it's positively affected me um, would be when I made friends with a homeless man called Mark who often sits outside Waitrose. Obviously you should be cautious when approaching strangers, don't put yourself in danger, but don't let that fear stop you loving them. I hated how so many people would just walk past, avert their eyes, walk faster or throw money on the ground. The thing that bothered me about that is they wouldn't put it into his hand like he was a person. They didn't want to touch him. They didn't treat him like an equal. Just the fact that he was on the streets immediately changed their perspective of what he was like as a person before they even knew him and knew his story. I made sure that I sat with him on the ground and talked to him. I got to know that he loved books like me and we chatted about books. What Mark really needed more than pennies or food was company and books. <laughs> when I went to see him, I'd often bring books, chat to him, and I did bring him food and stuff, but what was more important was actually sitting and spending time with him. I know that when Mark saw me, his face lit up, that me simply loving him without caring that he was homeless or what his story was or why he was on the street hugely impacted him and it hugely impacted me too. My point for sharing this is not so you think that I'm amazing or anything at all, it's so you can see that loving the hurting, broken, homeless, loving like Jesus loved is not so hard. We're called to it. We're designed to love. Just treat them like humans. Love them. This could be a simple conversation, a smile, but it's important that we live our lives full of love. So 
you don't necessarily need to go in and find a homeless person to sit with and love but just making sure that you're being loving um, to everyone around you to everyone you come in contact with just that you live your life full of love no matter who you're loving just loving everyone all the time in Timothy also says that we need to be examples in faith this means showing in our actions and words that you have faith in God don't say you have faith when everything's going fine and then get into trouble and run away from God and panic uh, and not have faith in him there having faith means having complete certainty um, in your faith in God um, and not panicking and running away when you go through a tough time. It also says in Timothy that we need to be examples in purity, making sure we live our lives with purity. This means keeping ourselves pure. What I mean by that is we shouldn't allow the bad stuff in the world to penetrate our hearts and minds. Even things that seem innocent, like watching a scary movie just because everyone else is watching it, um, can have effects on us that are damaging without us even realising. We need to make sure that we're guarding ourselves against this, that we're being careful to make wise decisions that are going to be good for us rather than hanging around people that might be damaging to us or harmful, doing things that we know we shouldn't be doing um, and looking at stuff online that could be damaging. Obviously it can be really hard to stay away from all of the bad stuff in the world but we can ask God to be with us and guard our hearts. So to conclude, if we as young people live our lives to be examples, to stay pure, to love in how we speak and in how we live, we can hugely impact our elders and peers. We are not too young to make a difference. So this message was designed for other young people, but I think that it speaks to everyone, no matter what age you are. Um, just that young people live our lives this way so that we can be examples doesn't mean that adults are exempt either. They need even more to live their lives like this because if we as young people can do it, anyone can do it. So I implore you to look at each of these things and try and live your life by them as much as possible. Thank you very much.